healing the inner child. Welcome to this session that is designed to make you stronger as an adult by meeting, healing and uniting with your child self. This is the first of two parts that you will find here. As we grow up, we often close ourselves off to the natural wisdom and joy that comes from the child self. And even if we had a happy childhood, we are given messages which we may interpret to our own detriment about events that happened around us or to us. So this is useful for anyone and everyone as we are all vulnerable as children. As with all my sessions, there are always lots of choices. And so knowing that you are always in control, let's settle in and begin. And when you are ready, as you relax your breathing, allow your eyes to close on the exhale that you choose. And take a moment to take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Allow yourself to relax. With each inhale sinking in. With each exhale sinking down. Often as children we do not have control over what happens around us or to us. We have no conscious say of the circumstances we were born into. And becoming an adult we gain more control. And we oftentimes hold on so tight to that control. But sometimes we seek control through excessive means. Shutting down parts of ourselves. Shutting out others. So just focusing on your breath, ease into the process of becoming present with whatever that brings. And with your breath, feel your heartbeat. Perhaps detecting the most subtle pulsations through your body. We are encouraged to live in a world of distraction, of numbing, avoidance, 
looking everywhere but inside. But so many answers lie inside of you. There is so much potential. Bring acceptance to your body, this moment. Perhaps you might like to gently place one hand on your heart and another on your lower belly. Choose one or both of these. Your heart. Your breath. And resting hand and arm in a gentle embrace of self. And the healing process starts now, in the simplest of acts. A gentle acceptance and embrace of self. Breathe in and out. And allow your thoughts to become more peaceful. Breathing away tension anything else on your mind. Like clouds clearing to reveal a blue, silent sky. And as you see the blue sky of your clear mind looking up, as your gaze will drop, slowly and steadily, down into a grassy space. Feeling the wide open space above, as your gaze drops a little. Feeling your mind leaf through photos in an old album. Sinking down, deeper down in your mind. Feeling all outside sounds and inside sounds get quieter. Seeing grass come into view. Feeling the waves of time, past, present and future collide. You see 
seeing a wide open grassy space in front of you. Feeling the sun above and the earth beneath you. And as you become more aware of this scene, seeing a grassy space surrounded by trees. Just take a moment to notice what you see. And as you walk now, you start to see a small figure just up ahead. Sitting or standing in the shadow of a large tree. And as you get closer, you recognize that this is your child self. And you slow your footsteps. And as you get closer, notice the age that you are. How old do you seem to be here? What are you wearing? And what position are you in? Sitting, lying down, still or moving? Is there anything meaningful about whatever your child self is doing right now? And as you get closer, the child hears the footsteps and turns around and looks up. What is the expression on your child self's face? And what is your first feeling seeing your child self? And what are the thoughts that come up without judgment? How do you feel for your child self? The first and most important matter is for your child self to feel safe and comfortable. And what can you do to make sure that they feel this way?
and how can you give reassurance to your child self? And as you get closer, as the child self does not know who you are, you may want to say hello or wave. As you know yourself best, what is the best way to introduce yourself? And as the child is looking at you, you may wish to tell them whatever you feel they will understand. If this is your first time visiting them, and depending on the age of your child self, you may wish to tell them simply that you are their friend, a protector, If a later visit you may wish to explain that you are their future self. That you have come back to look after them. To take care of them. And notice how your child reacts to this information. Give them time. Does your child self want you closer or at a distance? And ask them if there is anything they need. Maybe your child has some questions and you can help with an explanation. As an adult now, you have access to a greater vocabulary and greater understanding. You can put into words what the child cannot do yet Is there anything unresolved in this child's mind? They may express this with or without words. Notice if anything comes up.
Can you find the words to make sense of anything the child needs an answer on or does not understand? Is there anything the child blames themselves for that you can clear up? Is there anything that still makes them feel bad, sad or uncomfortable? And is there anything else the child asks or that you intuitively know needs explanation? Then find those words now. And you may notice the child start to relax, the energy lift. And you can ask them now if there is anything they need to feel safer. And as the child's mood lifts and energy picks up, ask them if they have a favourite toy or game. And if your child self is not used to playing, then you can show them. If they are unsure, what would you have liked as a child? And if they are unsure how to play, you can start to show them. Relaxing, as this is a safe place. Mm -hmm. 
and you see the child start to follow. Seeing that it is okay to relax, to have fun. Giving full attention is the greatest gift we can give to anyone. And as you see the child relax and play, you realize, as a child you never experience bitterness or cynicism. As children we are all born with hope, with trust, And notice how you both feel now after sharing this special time together. If there are tears and longing, then ask your inner child if you can hug them or hold their hand respecting what they want to. If there is a sense of vulnerability, of revealing your true adult self, then allow this to happen, knowing this is a safe place for adults and children alike. And now the child is going to draw or write a message for you. Something that your child self wants for you. As your child self draws or writes or expresses this message, They pause and look up at you as you receive this message. Hear it. Read it. Feel it. And as the conversation comes to a natural end, you promise the child self that whenever they call out for attention, you will return to help them. And you know that you can return through this healing session or you can return in the form of dreams, or simply in a waking state, 
sitting quietly with your thoughts and emotions. And every time you listen to this with every shared smile and look, you will strengthen that part of you, that wise, intuitive inner child inside of you. Remembering the innocent, wise soul that you still are. At all levels you are helping yourself. At all points in time, past, present and future. There is an understanding and trust without words. And as the scene fades, you return to the blue sky. And in a moment now, I'm going to count you up from one to five. And on five, you will return to the room, fully alert and awake. Bringing all the learnings and all the healings into your fully conscious state. But before I do so, just take time to strengthen any powerful or positive message or image. And now one, focusing on the empty blue sky. And two, coming up higher, feeling a little more energy as you become more aware of the here and now. And three, retaining the joy, the intuitive wisdom of your child self. And four, coming up a little higher, uniting adult knowledge and child wisdom. And five, coming all the way back up to the room, feeling whole, healed and reconnected to self. Five. 